It says, which of the following equations has both 1 and negative 3 as solutions? So if you look at the answer choices, we see that they're all trinomials because they all have three terms. And each one of those trinomials begins with x squared. So when we're breaking down trinomials, we're literally just going to break it down into two binomials multiplied against each other. So because the term begins with x squared, we can break x squared down into x and x. Very simple. Now I'm going to show you a very simple solution um, to this problem. You know the solutions are 1 and negative 3, so you just write the opposite in the parentheses. So the opposite of positive 1 is negative 1. The opposite of negative 3 is positive 3. So now we know the binomials, and so we're just going to go ahead and multiply them out. So x times x would be x squared. x times 3 is positive 3x. Negative 1 times x is negative 1x. And negative 1 times positive 3 is negative 3. We're going to go ahead and combine like terms. x squared plus 2x minus 3. And we're going to go ahead and see that this is answer B. And we were able to solve it in a matter of moments. It's not very complicated, but I just want to show you the problem again. Say, for example, um, they tell you that it's a trinomial. You have to choose from four choices, but the solutions are 4 and negative 2. So again, if it's a trinomial, we're going to break it down to two binomials. And if they're trinomials that begin with x squared, we're just going to put x and x. Because we know these two are solutions, we're just going to write the opposite in the parentheses. So positive 4, the opposite is negative 4. The opposite of negative 2 is positive 2. And then we're just going to go ahead and multiply these out. So x squared and then plus 2x minus 4x minus 8. And we're going to combine like terms, which is x squared minus 2x minus 8. And that would be the original equation. Very, very simple. Just always, whatever is the opposite, just put that into the parentheses and then multiply it out. So let's go to problem number seven. It says, in the xy plane, what is the y-intercept of the graph of the equation y equals 2 times x plus 3, x minus 4? So y-intercept is a point. You can write it as x comma y. But when you're talking about the y-intercept, the x is always going to be 0. And then there's going to be some value for y. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the equation y is equal to 2, x plus 3, x minus 4. We're going to go ahead and multiply this equation out. So we're going to do, we're going to distribute the 2. So 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 3 is 6. Then we're going to continue to multiply it out. 2x times x would be 2x squared. 2x times negative 4 is negative 8x plus 6x minus 24 equals y. We're going to go ahead and combine like terms. So it would be 2x squared minus 2x minus 24 is equal to y. Now that we multiplied it all out, we know that when we're trying to find the y-intercept of a graph, you just enter 0 in for the x's. So wherever you see an x, we're just going to put a 0. So 2 times 0 squared minus 2 times 0 minus 24 equals y. 0 squared is 0 times 2 is 0. Negative 2 times 0 is 0. And then you bring down negative 24. So y is equal to negative 24. So when x is equal to 0, y is equal to negative 24. So the y-intercept would be negative 24. So the answer would be A. As a reminder... Whenever you're trying to solve for y-intercept, multiply out the equation, make sure it's all multiplied out, and then just plug in 0 for x, and you'll be able to find what y is equal to.